guys, it's Phase One. Welcome to another episode of The Uplink, where we cover the latest stories and news from the previous week. Before we move forward, I'd like to give a shout out to all my Patreons and channel members. Last week, we had a relatively small roadmap roundup. They mentioned that the Great Cat PTV racetrack is being worked on on the Orison Vision Center, and this is meant to release with Star Citizen Alpha 3.18. The Inside Star Citizen episode was called The Persistence Existence, and this time they actually covered PES, which is Persistent Entity Streaming for the very first time since the letter from Chris Roberts. They mentioned that PES will have a life cycle management system, which will help clean up unnecessary items over time. They intend to also introduce gameplay to also assist with this as well. A great accomplishment they mentioned is that they moved the PES proof of concept from workbench over to game dev branch, which means that everybody has their hands on it and is actively using it to test moving forward. On initial implementation, a lot of the systems were broken. CIG is working hard to iron out these bugs. When the user logs into a server, all the items will be loaded into the server. They've had challenges, test cases like what if a user times out or what if a user has too much items. They face issues with varying hardware, timing issues, etc. Currently, they're in stabilization mode at the moment. They're looking into breaking up the system into microservices that will run on the cloud. The priority now is to get the technology ready for a PTU release. They want to ensure that the technology can scale in cases when they get an influx of new players. They want to make sure that the system runs well when everybody is online. The technology comes with tons of analytical data that helps them track issues. They can now do what we call character repair, which will allow them to fix player issues without actually requiring a character reset. Now, this is awesome. They want to ensure that this is working before PES is released. CIG is proud of how this will allow them to separate simulation and replication. This is what will allow them to do server meshing in the future. This is last week's sneak peek. Let me know what ship you think this is in the comments down below. I have more videos like this. I'll see you on the next one.